The demographic transition model is a theory that explains how population growth changes over time as a society develops. It describes the shift from high birth and death rates to lower birth and death rates, which occurs in four or five distinct stages. The model is based on the idea that as a country modernises, improvements in healthcare, sanitation and education lead to changes in population patterns. The demographic transition model helps explain why some societies experience rapid population growth, while others stabilise or even decline. Now let's explore the origin of the demographic transition model. The demographic transition model was first developed in the 20th century to describe population changes in industrialised nations. Researchers noticed that countries with growing economies tended to have lower birth and death rates compared to pre-industrial societies. The model was originally based on historical data from Europe, but has since been used to analyse population trends in many parts of the world. Over time, demographers have refined the model to account for variations in different regions, leading to debates about whether all countries follow the same pattern. Now let's look at some examples of the demographic transition model in action. The demographic transition model can be observed in different countries at various stages of development. For example, in early stage societies, high birth and death rates keep the population stable, as seen in some pre-industrial regions. As countries improve healthcare and sanitation, death rates drop while birth rates remain high, leading to rapid population growth. In more advanced economies, birth rates also decline due to factors such as increased education and urbanisation, leading to slower or negative population growth. These examples show how demographic transitions are influenced by social and economic factors. Now let's examine some strengths of the demographic transition model. One major strength of the demographic transition model is that it provides a clear framework for understanding population change, helping governments and researchers predict future trends. Another advantage is that it explains how economic and social development impact birth and death rates, showing the relationship between modernisation and population growth. Additionally, the model is useful for planning public policies, such as healthcare, education and infrastructure, by anticipating population needs. Because of these strengths, the demographic transition model remains a valuable tool for analysing demographic trends worldwide. Now let's consider some weaknesses of the model. Despite its usefulness, the demographic transition model has some limitations. One major criticism is that it assumes all countries follow the same pattern, which may not apply to every society. Some nations experience different demographic trends due to cultural, economic or political factors. Another weakness is that the model does not account for unexpected events, such as wars, pandemics or environmental disasters, which can significantly alter population growth. Additionally, the demographic transition model focuses mainly on historical data, making it less accurate for predicting how modern developing nations will transition. While the model provides a general guide, these weaknesses highlight the need for flexibility when applying it to different contexts. Now let's look at an alternative to the demographic transition model. An alternative to the demographic transition model is the dependency theory, which argues that population changes are influenced by global economic systems rather than just internal development. This theory suggests that poorer nations may struggle to transition through the demographic transition model stages due to economic dependence on wealthier countries. Another alternative is the epidemiological transition model, which focuses specifically on how disease patterns and healthcare advancements affect population growth, while the demographic transition model explains general population shifts. These alternative theories provide additional perspectives on how global and health-related factors shape demographic changes.